Hi, my name is Sam Shuey from Maple Systems. In today's lesson, I will show you how to use the function generator instruction that is part of the ladder logic instructions in the Mapware 7000 programming software for the HMC 7000 series products. This instruction calculates a value y for a given value x. The instruction does this by using other x and y values provided by a set of registers. Then it interpolates the missing y value using a linear function that it generates based upon the given points. We can guess what the y values in this example will be if we look at a graph of the data points. Here we can see that if x is equal to 5, then y is going to approximate minus 3. Likewise, if x is equal to 20, then y is going to be around 12 or 13. The calculation is based upon a table of values beginning with operand b. This table represents the x and y values of a plotted linear graph. The x values comprise the first half of the registers and the y values comprise the second half. The size of the table is determined by 2 times n with a range of 1 to 32. In this example, I'm using a table of n equals 5. So this means that I will need 5 registers to represent the x values and 5 registers to represent the y values. The given x value that I'm using to compute the y value is stored in operand A. The calculated y value is written into operand C. The calculation is determined by the following rules. If x is within the range of two given x's in the data table, then the y value is derived based upon a linear calculation of these two points. If x is below the lowest x given in the data table, then the y value is set to the y value that is associated with the lowest x. If x is above the highest x given in the data table, then the y value is set to the y value that is associated with the highest x. Note that all values are interpreted as signed integers, and the x values in the data table must be arranged from lowest value to highest value in order. Now let's do an example of a function generator using block 1 in the main logic block folder and a screen that will show the computed values. As you can see, the function generator instruction is activated whenever input contact B18 turns on. The output coil B19 is turned on whenever this instruction is activated. We will use data register D62 for the given x value for operand A. Data register D63 is the start of the data table for the x and y values. Since in our example n equals 5, there must be 5 registers for the x values and 5 registers for the y values. A total of 10 registers are needed. So we must put data into registers D63 through D72. Finally, data register D73 is where the function generator will put the calculated y value. We will use this screen to show the values used in the function generator. I've also configured several preset values for the data table using the task folder of screen number one. So let's download this project to the HMC 7057 unit. The startup screen is screen number one which shows the preset x and y values. I'm going to enter the x value of five. Let's turn on B18. The function generator calculates a y value of negative 2, close to what we anticipated the value would be based upon looking at the graph. If we were to calculate the value of y using simple algebra, we would get a value of y equals negative 2.5 for an x value of 5. So why do we not see this value here? Remember that the function generator performs all calculations using integer math, so any decimal value will be truncated to a whole integer value. In this case, negative 2.5 is truncated to negative 2. If you want a more precise calculation, simply multiply all of your x and y value inputs by a factor of 10. Then use decimal notation as illustrated on this screen. Instead of negative 10, we use negative 100 for the first x value. Instead of a y value of 10, we use 100 and so on with each of the other x and y values in the data table. Likewise, the x value that's entered must use a factor of 10. Now let's go back to the first screen. 
Let's enter an x value of 20. Notice that the y value changes to 12. Again, this is close to the value that we predicted based upon the graph. But the more accurate answer is 12.5. So take into account what level of precision you need when using the function generator. What happens if we enter in an x value that is less than negative 10? When any x value that is less than the lowest x value in the data table is entered, the function generator simply uses the y value, in this example 10, as the computed y value entry. What if the x value is more than the largest x value in the table? As we expected, if an x value is entered that is higher than the highest x value of the data table, the function generator uses the y value associated with that high x value as the computed y value. And that's how the function generator instruction works. This completes our video on how to use a function generator that is available as a ladder logic instruction for the HMC 7000 series. Please consult the Mapware 7000 help files and the HMC 7000 series operations manual for more details on these and other features of the HMC 7000. Or visit our website at www.maplesystems.com for more video tutorials, specifications, and other helpful materials on the HMC 7000 series.